Hello guys, welcome back to the Deadliest Sketch. Back out here at sea at the first pot of the string that we left when we went into Dutch Harbor. Uh, what does it look like it has like 14 hours on it? I think that's what it has on it, like 14 hours, something like that. So the question, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to have is, uh, dude, can you not, why didn't you grab the pot? Is this how we're going to start? Is this how we're going to start? Did he grab the pot? There you go. Now he's, now he's got it. There he goes. I thought we got faster workers too. I'm not too sure. Um, but I'm kind of curious. We're going to go, I'm just going to sit here and pop it in neutral for a second. Um, because I'm kind of curious because we now have 12 pots on board. Are, are they going to double stack them? Is that what's going to happen here? Not too sure. I don't want to get in his way. So I'm going to come over here and grab this buoy. Let's go ahead and put that in here. Um, I also want to see how much crab we actually get from a 14 hour soak. And it comes back over and what do we have a crab? 80 crab. I guess that's okay. So the question is, where are you going to stack? Are you going to double stack these? Is that what's going to happen here? So he should also sort out crab a lot faster. I think they're going to double stack. Be my, my, I mean, that's the only way I can think it's going to go here on deck. Yep, double stack. Okay, looks like it's working. Looks like he's working. Um, I need to come in here. We're going to grab one of the totes. And tote it away. Let's go ahead and tote it away. Let's plop that down here. I uh, will go ahead and take the cover off because, well, you never know. Uh, hopefully we get plenty of crab. So 80 crab. 80 crab is not... I mean, I think it should be better for a 14-hour soak. Not too sure. But we got 12 pots. So, yeah, the question is when I go to reset some pots here. I think we're going to reset 12 pots in this area that we've been fishing in. And then I think we'll go somewhere else and drop off those pots somewhere else and just kind of... Now we can kind of just, like, see where there might be other spots. Maybe find some better fishing spots. I want to leave the area. Um, it's hard to leave an area when you first start up because you know you're catching so much crab and this is what you get for cash, so on and so forth. But I think it's time to venture on out. Also for September, 6.30 in the morning up here in Dutch Harbor, uh, well, in the Bering Sea, still kind of dark out. Uh, but at least the, the seas are rather calm and the weather is not too bad. So, yeah, we got faster workers. I believe we bought that skill for our workers. So let's hopefully that Kurt doesn't have any problem bringing in the pots today. Seems like the boat's going kind of slow. So I'm kind of hoping in this episode here, usually we drop off, we, we do two string runs and go into Dutch. Um, maybe we'll do three this time. I kind of like to fill up the boat. So, yeah, we can bring in 19,000 pounds of crab. So I think we'll just fish until we can bring it in. How about that? And then we'll head into Dutch Harbor, unload our crab, and hopefully make a boatload of money. Get it? Boatload. Um, actually, I should have named my boat that now I think about it. Boatload. But I named it a boat time. Uh, what did we name it the first time? Oh, a time to kill. Was it time to kill? I, I don't remember. Uh, something like that. I have no idea. So if everything works well down here on deck, well, I'll be just driving the boat here for the next couple minutes. Uh, but when it comes time to reset in the pots, yeah, we'll, go, we'll we'll drop 12 pots and we'll head somewhere else. I just got to figure out where. I mean, I could look at the map, see where the other boats are, and kind of figure it out. But uh, for now, let's just focus on getting these 12 pots on board and see how they do. See how we do in this string. So was I catching around 6,000 pounds of crab for 12 pots? And that was like on a 13-hour soak, something like that. Also, I was trying to find a way, as we know, I have some material on board that's not usable, and I don't know how to get rid of it. Um, for some reason, we got a grappling hook that is not usable, which seemed kind of weird that that wore out that bad. I don't know, did it get, did it get caught in my propeller or something? I have no idea if that's a thing or not. So, meanwhile, if we look at our stats on the left-hand side, I got no cash, but we had no fines, and we've upgraded the boat quite a bit, and the skill crew quite a bit. Uh, we're doing fine on the fuel. And you can see the amount of money we brought in the first season. Apparently, I'm not doing so well because I don't know. I think I've seen a trophy before where I've been in, like, the top five, I think. And now I'm not even ranked. So I have, yeah, apparently I'm not doing so good. Not so good. I may have to slow down here a little bit. I'll put it in neutral because... All right, so this is where it could get kind of tricky. So I may have screwed up Kurt a little bit because there's a pot... <laughs> There's a pot on the crane, and now he's lifting one up. Don't, uh, just going to leave it in first gear. Give Kurt some time. Hopefully he gets this all squared away. If not, then I'll have to go down and give him a hand. As long as Harry Sorter 
does what he's supposed to do, which is sort the crab, I can help Kurt out a little bit. But I hope I don't have to do everything down there for Kurt, because if Kurt gets really screwed up, then we'll be going back to Dutch sooner than later. Yeah, going back to Dutch should reset the workers. The problem is, how long do the workers work before they get unstuck? So the good thing is, the pot that was on the crane, he just unloaded it. Now he's going to go grab the other one. There we go. So I was just going a little bit too fast for him. I, I don't remember, so I'm saying that we upgraded. Did we get all the upgrades for the workers? Are they at full speed now? Well, I mean at full speed. Did I upgrade them all the way? I don't remember. Uh, we'll find out by the end of this episode. You may remember. I don't right now. I just don't. I just remember clicking on a lot of things saying, oh, let's buy this. We can't buy that. So I don't remember. I don't remember if we got a full crew or not, or a full, uh, full upgrades on the workers. All right, so as long as I stay in this course right now, I think we're fine for a little bit. So let's go on down. And I want to make sure I help keep the table clear. Because, yeah, he's sorting a little bit faster. 83 crab already. He's still got 115 to sort out, but that's pretty darn good. Oh, I shouldn't be grabbing crab when they move the table forward, but that seemed to be okay. Plus, I need to start putting some of these buoys away as well. Hopefully they didn't get in his way. Yeah, someone mentioned before, maybe because I'm getting in their way once in a while, the working could screw them up. Yeah, I, th I think it's just the way the coding is for the workers, because... Yeah, it's still an issue here and there. It's not bad. It's not... If you remember the first... Oops, sorry, dude. Um, can I... There we go. We'll throw those outside. And I'll start cleaning up the deck myself. This is where a third deck can could come in handy if I didn't want to come down here and do absolutely anything, but I kind of enjoy doing some of the work down here. I like setting the pots. Setting the pots is relatively easy. Just put your boat in kind of a course you want to go in, and then come on down here and let Harry Sorter do his thing. Yeah, he is sorting a lot faster, which is good. So already almost 1,200, should be 1,200, actually 1,350 pounds of crab on board already. That is good, and plus we got, we had the most pots I think we can have on the boat. Um, yeah, a few questions that were asked, and I appreciate the comments, so keep bringing them on if you have questions. Uh, is is there any, can I upgrade the uh, to different boats? Yes, there is another boat. It's a free DLC that you can get. Uh, we used it. It's not on this playlist at all, but I think if you search my channel, you can find it. But uh, we used the, D, the DLC boat on the first try, and there is a slight issue with the DLC boat. I, from what I've been told, I don't know if it's been fixed or not, is placing the pots on board because it's a smaller boat, I think. So yeah, there's some issues with it. I'm not saying you can't use it or not. Give it a try if you like. But the, right now there's only two boats. And I used the free DLC boat on the first three episodes we did back in August, I want to say it was. Might have been back in August. I'm not quite too sure. All right, so I need to... I'm still going a little bit too fast for Kurt right now. Two gears is too fast for Kurt. Uh, no, Kurt. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm gonna have to go down and help him. Um, because I went too fast. Now we got a pot on the crane. We got a pot on the hydraulic lifts. And he's trying to reel one in, so... Uh, I might be screwing him up now because I'm doing the job for him. Yeah, this could screw him up a little bit. Maybe he'll figure it out. Oh, okay, he's going back over to there. I'm just going a little bit too fast for him on the gears, so... Alright, I'll get off of that. And the thing is, yeah, someone else did mention as well, I guess there is... Oh, see, there's a floating crab... No, you got it. Uh, wow, we're, we're almost at max. So I may have to stop here just for a minute. We're, we're pushing the max how much crab we can have on here. Um, I may have missed it when we were in the harbor last time to where I can put more crab on the sorting table. We'll have to double check it when I go back in next time. Like I said, hopefully we only go in once and we have a full boat. And hopefully we don't pay any have to pay any fines. But actually we almost got the string all picked up. We only got four more pots to pick up. Alright, so we're at 300 crab on the table, so I think we're doing okay. And since we're getting about 80 crab per pot, yeah, I may have to slow down a little bit here. 
So I think what I'll do is I'll try to get the boat lined up and I'll just go in first gear. That'll allow Harry some time to sort out the crab. We're only allowed to have 500 crab on the sorting table. So that's kind of holding me back a little bit. But if I can find... Like I said, I thought there was one and somebody said I missed it. But they did have a question. I think they put a question mark in the comment saying they're not quite sure if that's what we're looking for themselves. So we'll have to, we'll have to see. So we do have seven more days almost exactly uh, left in the season. So I'm kind of hoping that we have a good haul here today. Seems like I'm going so slow when I'm in second gear doing six knots. But we do have a 14 and a half hour soak on this. Alright, so Kurt is going on over. Yep, so he's got it. He's hooking it. Alright, I'll put it down to first gear here. Actually, I'll do a little bit that way. And I think that'll help out. Alright, you pushed me away over here, so we'll come on down. Grab that. Okay, he's definitely sorting the crap a lot faster. It's always good to come over here and see... A lot of good crabs sitting there ready to go on in. Let's throw them right back overboard. So like I said, once we pick up these pots here, I think we'll just uh, either keep heading the same direction and reset 12, 12 pots and then we'll head somewhere, somewhere else. That way it lets these pots that we set some time to soak in. Uh, yep, we got the coming up right in the next spot, so you can see a 14 and a half hour soak. Good thing is, Kurt is right on the ball today. Of course, I'm only in first gear, so he should be doing just fine. Staying right at 300 crab on the table. And 2,500 pounds of crab is what we got so far. So, if I have the most amount of pots I can have, why would I need to enlarge my buoy basket? I think I'm at the max for a buoy basket as well, so I guess if I lose a buoy, I, I guess we're kind of in trouble. So I can see the next pot, so the boat looks like it's doing fine for the next pot in line. Uh, I think it is. Yep, you can see it straight ahead. Do I want to speed up the boat a little bit? now? Nah. We'll just wait. We'll just wait. Because I'm getting pretty close to our max on the table anyways. Just brought the last pot on board, I do believe. Are we all set on pots? Yes, we are. Yep, I'm in neutral. So you can already see we got 3,500 pounds of crab in the tank. And he's got to sort through 350 more crab, which is fine. It's all good. Now I think me and Kurt are going to get into some rhythm here. Let me go ahead and put him on resting. He gets to rest for a few minutes here. Let me just check to make sure where we're at here. I think we're fine. Let me go ahead and turn all this stuff back on here. Um, yeah, we can set this way. Although it's a little bit muddy through here. Do I want to turn around all sandy that way? That's muddy, sandy. I'm just looking for a nice string to do next time here. You know what I may do? Right in here, we may come here and set a string there. Alright, so let, I, I gotta go up to the wheelhouse because right now we're in neutral. So, uh, nope, nope, nope. What, uh, where are we here? There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and just turn this boat completely around. So I was facing south, southeast. Let's go uh, north, northwest. Or was I facing directly? Was I facing directly southeast? Oh, I'll have to check here in a second. I think I was facing directly southeast. Northwest. Then we'll put her in fourth gear. Go on down. And me and Kurt will go ahead and set 12 pots. And then we'll 
take a voyage out to the other spot I was looking at. Is this roughly what I want to be doing? Yeah, that looks good. All right, fourth gear. Here we go. Head on down. Uh, I'm stuck on something. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and put the crew on pot setting. And we'll start our little routine here. Start our little routine. Looks like the sun might be coming up. It's kind of a weird. It's almost like the the sun is reflecting off the pot that wasn't there. It's going to take me a few seconds to get into rhythm here. Watch your fingers when that thing closes. Well, one down. 11 more to go. And by the time we finish, the way how, how fast Harry Sorter is uh, going along, he should be done as well so we can see how much crab we're getting. Um, already, I'm kind of happy with the total that we have. I thought it was 3,000 per string, but was that a per string of 8? I don't remember anymore. But we'll see what we got in that a string of 12 that we put in. Maybe it was closer to six. Maybe it was closer to 6,000 pounds of crab we were getting. And yeah, that makes sense, because I think we went in with like 12,000 pounds last time. And we do about two, we were doing two strings, but today I kind of hope just to fish until we get a full holding tank. That way when we go into Dutch, we'll get a boatload of money. And we'll buy a whole bunch of stuff for the boat and upgrades and perks and skills and all that wonderful stuff. Come on, Kurt. Bring it on over. I should have enough bait and everything to do all we need to do. I just have to make sure I keep track of what I'm doing here. Because I could just get into a rhythm and the next thing I know I have all 24 pots set into the water. Last pot on the string. Harry's getting almost there. He's got 64, 60, 63, 62. Yeah, he's almost done there. Um, yeah, I'm into the... Do I want to say the good bait? <laughs> I mean, can I say that? Uh, but the bait looks the same in, in baits uh, once you grind it up. It looks the same. So I don't know if the game knows the difference between the bait right now. I have no idea. But at least I'll know that the last three pots of this string, or it could be the first three depending on how I get here, uh, come back. But yeah, I'll be with a better bait or more expensive bait, I think is the way I should do it. So yeah, uh, 12 pots left on board. Okay, so no, 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 I've already launched. Yeah, so we got 12 left on board, which means I've already launched yeah, 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 I don't want to launch anymore. No, no, no we don't, we're not going to launch anymore. We're, we're, we're all set. Because um, I only got 12 left on board, so that's for the next string. All right, let's come over here and start dumping some of this crab into the holding tank and watch the numbers go up. Hopefully they go up quite a bit. So we're going to get our usual 6,000, I guess. So it must have been 6,000 because that's pretty much where we're at. We'll wait until he's done. Uh, let me go ahead and put the crew on resting. Although Harry will keep on sorting because that's a job that he would do no matter what. Alright, let's grab this last crab. So just shy of 6,000. Alright, that's fine. Dump these overboard. But we know 5,000, well, almost 6,000 pound of crab is still going to bring a good amount of cash. Just that um, let's see if we go to our new spot here. We'll place those pots. And by the time we come back here, maybe these pots will have soaked long enough. I'm not too sure. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and put that there. No sense of putting it away. All right. Actually, let me cover that hole up because I don't need that for a little bit. All right. So what we're going to do is... Uh, was it right in here? Yeah, that, that looks good. Let's go right to here. So it's 11 hour... 11 hours to get there. So these pots that we're leaving over here, they're going to be soaking for a while. Alright, so except, where's the direction we're headed? That looks good enough. Alright, let's go ahead and put the crew back on pot setting. Harry, you really don't have to do anything. You got uh, you got a little time off, apparently. 
Put that in there. Getting a little foggy out, but uh, there we go. Pot in the water. All right, love to go. So basically the way it works is, as soon as I get this string set, we can go back to our first string that we just set. And uh, yeah, we're all set to go. So I think this is the way we're gonna do it. Just have two uh, strings of 12 and we'd be fine. I actually could put Harry on this job since he's not sorting crab right now, but the only thing Harry is here for is to sort crab. That's it. That's all he's really here to do. We're gonna do everything else, me and Kurt. We're in charge. He's kind of like the low man on the totem pole, but he's the one that's sorting the crab. And if he doesn't sort it well, we pay a lot of fines, but I think we're allowed up to 15% or do we buy, I see, I can't remember now what we bought for perks. Uh, we may have it to where we can get up to 20% of bad crab. I'm not too sure. Not too sure. But me and Kurt do have a rhythm setting these pots in the water. I do have a little thing now. When I, when I see the bait is getting kind of low, uh, you can kind of tell. Well, it's easy to tell when he needs bait being put in there. So when it gets kind of low and I kind of double check on it. And I'll show you how I double check when it gets low. Because you do have time to do it. Because after I set it, if you just come over, it'll say take a piece of bait. Which means I have enough for another pot. So when it gets low, when you walk over there, it'll say put bait in the grinder. So that's pretty much telling you, like, hey, you don't have enough bait here. You don't have enough bait. There we go. Nope, take a piece of bait, so I still got plenty more. Although it's getting kind of low. Kurt is fast with the crane, I'll be honest, but he's not that fast yet. Now, I don't know if we got him at 100% efficiency or not. that in. Yep, still got enough for another pot here. We'll just keep on going until we see that we don't. Now, I don't know how long... I think 36 hours is probably the max you want to go for a pot soaking. Uh, once it goes longer than that, then you could have some issues, I think. I'm trying to remember from watching the show years ago what the longest one is. Okay, still got enough for another... Doesn't look like there's that much bait left in there, but it says I got enough. But this is what I was saying before. It seems like, and I, it does, I thought they made a change in the price, how much money we're bringing in. But we're only into the first season, and we're probably going to have enough cash to buy it. I'm not going to say all of the upgrades for the boat, but pretty much. There we go. So, uh, E to put frozen bait inside. I don't have enough bait. So, yep. Yeah. Grind that on up. Bring it on down. Put those up there, please. I know there's a perk that's saying always have bait on hand. I don't know if that means you just have to walk up and you don't have to go over to your refrigerator to grab the bait. I mean, bait is not that expensive anyways. From all the cash you're bringing for the crab, let's be honest, bait is not that expensive. I would like to see, though, to where we can catch our own bait. That would be pretty cool. Maybe they'll expand Deadliest Catch to other kind of fishing types. I don't know if they have that plan or not. But honestly, in the show Deadliest Catch, all they're really doing is catching different kind of crabs in different types of seasons. All right. One more pot, and we are done setting this. We can go back to our other set. Wrap them on up. It's going to be a little bit of a soak, but uh, it'll be fine. I'll be kind of interested to see how the longer soak affects. So we were getting like, what, 80 crab, roughly, give or take, on the, on the first string that we did. Make sure I, can I uncrouch? There we go. All right, let's go. I'll put my crew on resting. They are fine. They get to rest. All right. So now we've got to click on the map. And we'll go to here. Hopefully it brings me to the first pot. That'd be great. Uh, oh, we're, we're still in gear. I uh, need to go up here. Should have been the wheelhouse when I did this. Uh, let me just put it on. 
Uh, nope, I don't want the map. I need to exit out the cab here. Yep, they're turning yellow, which means uh, probably been in there a little bit too long. And I think it did bring me to the first pot. Ooh, so man, if I reset these and come back out later, I mean, if I go into Dutch Harbor, they're going to be sitting here for quite a while. All right, let's go ahead and grab our crew members and pot collecting. And we'll put it in second gear. Looks like he's already got the first pot, which is good. Now let me just put it in first gear. And we'll head on down. So now I got a, a, a choice to make. Do I want to reset the pot? If I'm getting, if I'm going to get six thousand pounds per string, that's going to put us almost pretty much at our limit for crab. So this will be our second string, and the string we just set will be our third string. So how many crab we got in there? Eighty. Hmm. I think we'll keep these pots on board. As long as I don't get hit, uh, we're doing fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think we'll keep this string on board and we'll see how the other one does. I mean, because if we get more... Am I sitting in the chair or not? I think I am. Uh, yeah, so if we get more than 80 crab per pot on the other string, then yeah, then we need to start setting our pots out there instead of coming here. But as you can see, uh, when it's under 10 hours, the little ring around the pots are blue. Um, we were pretty much going like 14 hours max that at least as long as i have gone it is still green and right now they're turning yellow so i think like i said probably 30 hours is going to be too long so i want to put these on board when we go grab the other string then we'll see how much crab are out there and then i can figure out where i need to fish uh drop off we'll drop off maybe 12 or all 24 in that area if that makes any sense. Once we figure out what string's doing better, that's where we'll set all 24 pots. We'll go into Dutch, unload, and when we come back out, all 24 pots will be ready for pickup. And it should be a good 12 hour soak. Maybe if it's further out where we just dropped off our last string, that might be a good 24 hour run out there. So yeah, I think that plan's gonna work. So you know what I'm doing here, picking up pots. If, if Kurt does everything he's supposed to do, I'm just sitting in the boat, basically. So I'll meet you near the end of this 12-pot string. And we'll see how we're getting along. So you can see how much weight we got in the boat now for crab. I, I'm going to have to go down there and probably put crab away once in a while because the table's going to get full. At least that's why I'm hoping. It's been a foggy adventure, but we're coming up to the last pot. As you can see, we are up to about 8,400 pounds of crab in the holding tank so far. I have no idea how many crab are on the table. I haven't been down there in about four or five pots right now. But, let me go ahead and pop it into neutral. Yeah, I think I'm in neutral. It's hard to tell with a fog like that. Alright, let's head on down here. We may have to do the table first. Three, four. Yeah, I'm getting pretty well maxed out on how many crab we can have on the table. Now, it was when I played before. I don't know if it's 500 that he can sort, or is it completely on the table? Not too sure. Um, I think, yeah, we're kind of waiting. Yeah, we got to get some of this crab off the table, I think. Or Kurt is just confused because he's not unloading the crab. I hope he's not confused because we still got another string to go there, Kurt. And then we have to... Well, setting pots is not a problem for you, it seems like. Because you just sit at the hydraulic table. It's got all these buoys in. All right. Yeah, we should be able... To, you should be able to go ahead and put those in there, Kurt. Um, well, uh, I'll tell you what. I'll do this. No, I don't want, I don't want to, no, uh, wrong button. I don't want to sort crab. I was trying to hit this button here. All right, I will let Kurt do it. Kurt's going to throw out the crab. 
So I think he was a some pause because maybe the table was full. Uh, no, I think Kurt's uh, been up too long. You've been up too long there, Kurt. Well, hopefully you reset when we get up to the next pot. I got a funny feeling he's not going to. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I'll let him store the pot, though. I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll get all sorted out once we get out there because, uh, whew, we have some time to think about it. No, I didn't want to. No, I do that often. I do that too often. Put those in there. And we'll take these off the table as well. Throw those over. All right, so let's get out those other pots. Those are going to be soaking for a while as well. Now let me get up to the wheelhouse when I do this. Actually, let me put them on, quote-unquote, resting. So Kurt is is clearing up what he's doing here. All right, let me just make sure I'm in the chair. We are in neutral. All right. Uh, let's go ahead out here and... Yeah, I think so. Uh, 12 hours to get there. So the only thing about uh, <laughs> 12 hours to get there... Yeah, the days are going by. Remember we had like seven days left, left in the fishing season? We're down to five days and 10 hours. Did I say seven hours before? Yeah, so th the time goes by quickly when you got to travel all the time. Is that our first pot in the string? It is. All right, let me go ahead and get the boat over here and kind of turn it around. Actually, let me go ahead and put the crew on pot collecting. And we'll see if Kurt has... Uh, Kurt has reset himself. If not, then I got 12 pots that I got to manage. Now, what we're looking for here is... We have 25 hour soak. Uh, what we're looking for here is... Um, how many crab are we getting on this, on this string? So we got 80 crab on the other one. Let's go see what we get. We can head on down because I want to kind of clear the table or see when it comes in. What exactly we're we getting. Oh, 137 good crab. Let's go ahead and grab those. Hopefully uh, Kurt comes over and... Oh, he, he's opening up the, the pot. All right, it's all good. Are you actually going to unload them? All right, he's fine. So how many, how many were in that pot here? We'll find out in a second. 80. Okay, so I, I, I guess it doesn't really matter where you fish, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Let me help get some of this crab off the table. So I'd rather go back fishing where we started just because it's closer to Dutch Harbor. I mean, if that makes any sense to you guys. Uh, I mean, why travel out further if we're going to catch the same amount of crab? Um, any of you that are playing the game, have you found... I, I, I only try two spots here, really. So, I mean, are you finding it better to fish elsewhere? Or... Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So i got to turn this boat around here. Actually, I'm gonna put it in first gear and get on, get a move on here. So we're almost, we're pretty much at twelve thousand pounds of crab. So it looks like we're catching almost six thousand pounds of crab per twelve pots. It's almost like it's a set number. Doesn't matter how long you soak it for, I guess either. I know we're past the peak of soaking, so maybe if I were to get it, say like right at, I would assume maybe 16, 18 hours in there. I think that would be the peak. Would I get more than 80 crab per pot? I think we can find out. So what we're going to do is after we collect this uh, string of 12, we'll head back to where we were just fishing, back closer to Dutch Harbor. And we'll, we'll, just, we'll just launch all 24 pots right there. And then when we go to the Dutch and go back out, we'll make sure the pots are on a 16 to 18 hour soak and see if we can get better than 80 crab per pot. Well, at least it's not foggy this time around. Uh, yeah, second gear is just a little bit too fast for Kurt after a couple pots. I had to back up on the last string once for him because, yeah, he wasn't going fast enough. So, I mean, I hate to say it, I may have to leave him first gear for this whole string, but I'll be fine. Because you guys don't have to watch it all. But, uh, also look at my fuel in the boat. So, coming out here, I am using a lot more fuel going back and forth. Uh, I think this is the lowest I've ever been on fuel since we start. 
So buying the upgrade to where we use less fuel or get a bigger fuel tank, I can see where that can come in handy. But anyways, uh, yeah, we got to go ahead and, and um, well, bring in this crab. That's what we're here for. Well, here's the last pot on this string. It doesn't seem like it matters going through this whole string. Pretty much 80 crab per pot. So I don't know if that's the amount, max amount I can have in a pot or not. Uh, or what the deal is. But either way. Either way. Uh, how are we doing on the sorting table? Well, I got just under 400 crab on here. So this pot should be able to go in. Yeah, pretty much the last half of the string. I had to cruise that uh, in first gear. Just because... Harry wasn't sorting crab fast enough. The table's pretty much been at max the entire time. So going at for in first gear, he seemed to be doing okay. Yeah, you can see 400 crab on the table still up to sort, and I just put 30 in and threw 30 over. So we were pretty much at max. Well, we have all of our pots on board. I'm gonna leave that open um, once he gets that stored. I think he did. Yep, he's all set. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the crew on resting. Except for Harry, he's going to be sorting out crab for a while. We're going to sail back to our original spot, I think, at this point. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing much difference here. Uh, but right here looks good. Let's go ahead and sail there. 11 hours, and we're going to do a 24 stringer. Um, let me head a little bit north, northeast. After, actually, let's put these crab away first. See what our total is. Yeah, we're not going to... I don't think we're going to fill our, our boat, but we're going to be kind of close to it. Should be right around 1,800, right? That's where we're going to be. Yep, uh, so... Yep, just shy, of, just shy of it. I don't want to say much of a surprise there. Ooh, our grappling hook. Am I, are those grappling hooks wearing that bad? Yeah, I got to figure out how to get rid of the stuff that you don't need anymore like 0% grappling hooks. I got a lot of working or um, repair kits for our pots that we don't need. So if we go in here, uh, yeah, I got one grappling hook. So I got to buy a couple of those apparently. Oh, so it took out. Oh, so when I go into Dutch Harbor, it did take them out. Oh, okay. So they're not in there. So you can just go buy the Dutch Harbor. You clean out your boat apparently to pick up and let's go ahead and store it right and it's going to say when I look in here it's going to say 96% why is that alright I have no idea uh, no idea but it's in there it's in there doesn't matter uh, so we're all set right uh, covers but no the hatch is not back on let's put that on for safety alright so yeah up into the wheelhouse alright and we just went ahead north northeast, I think. I'll just go northeast, period, and we'll see what that line kind of sets us on. So I'm looking for a good payday when we go into Dutch Harbor. Hopefully, we don't have to pay any fines. Might be kind of a meaty fine if we do, because that means we got a lot of crab. Yep, that's a definitely good direction. Looks like a lot of people are going to Dutch right now. Yeah, they're all fishing in depths are not... When you do the tutorial, it says you need like be in the 30, in the 30s, and that's where we are. They're only like in the te uh, 10 feet or so. Uh, let's go ahead and set the crew on... Nope, nope, sorry, that's wrong. Pot setting. There we go, he's all set. So, put her in fourth gear. That's our high gear for us. And yeah, below 2,000 gallons of fuel, which is still plenty. I'm just, you know, we're not used to using that much fuel. All right, so, yep, time to go ahead and set 24 pots. If uh, Kurt continues to work like he always does, then this is not going to be a problem at all. And we should get this done in no time. Then we can head on into Dutch, and we will be good to go. One pot down, 23 to go.
As always, setting pots is going like clockwork. Harry's having the time of his life just watching us do all the work. But to me, this is kind of the relaxing part, in a way. Which seems weird. You think you'd be, you know, more excited about catching the crab and bringing in the cash, but you don't get to see the results until you get into Dutch Harbor. So, one more pot to go. I was kind of interested when, uh, when the pots were going off. I was wondering if they take into consideration the pots on the weight on the de on the boat, and they don't. So, that's a little bit odd. And it's also odd that they don't lower the... the uh, the hydraulics all the way down until it's the last pot on board. Not really sure why. Alright, so there is all 24 pots overboard. And we're all set. 24 pots over. You know what, you guys can uh, all go ahead for a resting until we get into Dutch Harbor. There we go. Let's go ahead. I don't need to be... Uh, what, everyone's going into Dutch. Hopefully uh, we don't have to wait in line. Uh, so, five hours to get into Dutch. That's not too bad. I wonder how long it would have been if we were at the other other fishing location. Alright, so we do have 17,500 pounds of crab on board. Do we have any fines to pay today? No fines. 165,000 brought in. Well, thank you. Uh, we, will, we will take that. Uh, I said accept. There we go. Here comes the money. That's always good. Uh... Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. No, I want to go to skills first. Um, all right, so we can't sort crab any faster. So honestly, making this worker faster doesn't, I mean, I'm not going to purchase this yet. It doesn't really help because I have to slow down because Harry can't sort crab any faster. Uh, ability to check crab properties without lifting item. Um, this is permission to sell crabs for 24 hours at the end of the season. These are skills. Uh, that was going to be under boat upgrade, I would think, if the sorting table can hold more. And warning system for your fridge. So these are bigger fuel tanks. Uh, faster. Enlarge the hatch. 50% increase in the capacity of your hold so you can fit more crab. That's in the holding tank. I mean, that would be nice for sure. So let's go ahead and buy that one. And we'll buy this one as well. So I can stay out longer. May as well, right? More pot slots. We own all that. Warning system at the quantity of the bait in the fridge below 20%. You get a notification. What are you supposed to do about it? If the bait's below 20 you should be grabbing always the lowest percentage anyways. Uh, I don't see that. Uh, it helps uh, keep the... The fridge keeps your bait fresher 50% longer. 10 more bait inside your fridge. Enlarge your buoys, which I don't see... Uh, fish and bait grinding, we have that. So I don't really see... I mean, if I just go to available, this would be better, right? Yeah, I don't see where... Actually, you gotta do it like that. That's avail That's what's available. Yeah, I don't see where it says a better... Hmm... Yeah, I don't see where I can uh, expand the holding tank. Not the holding tank, sorry, the sorting table. You always have the bait at hand and don't need to manually take it from the grinder to the freezer. Wouldn't it be from the freezer to the grinder? Just saying. Uh, we don't need more workers. Uh, so where do I, how much money do I got left here? 130,000. All right, so we got it. Uh, let me come to the shop. Uh, what do I need in here? I'm not sure if the bait is improving any better, but we're only talking ten dollars more, right? So let's go ahead and we'll we'll max out on that. Confirm. And while we're here, I'm also going to go ahead and buy two more of those. Confirm. I can't fit any more buoys on deck, so let's go ahead and accept that. We'll spend that cash. Uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and top off the fuel. It's kind of expensive, but not that expensive. All right, so back to upgrades. No, nope, that's not. What, uh, yeah, so we enlarged. We enlarged the hatch completely. Uh, adds two more gears to your vessels. You can sail faster. I mean, that's nice. Do I need that right now? I mean, sailing it. That's only going to matter going back and forth from the harbor. And right now, I'm kind of killing time because I want my pasta soak for about 16 hours. It only took what five and a half, six hours to sail into port. 
another six hours back out that's only 12 hours so right now I don't need to go faster uh, so let's go ahead and keep uh, the fridge keeps your bait fresher longer we'll go ahead and buy it. it's only 10 grand uh, let's go ahead and get so we can have more bait all right uh, I might as well get the skill to make our workers faster it's 25 I still got 74,000. Uh, 20 percent fine reduction. I think we'll get that just in case we do get a fine. That way we don't have to do too much of it. Permission to sell crab for 24 hours after the end of the season is 20,000. Let's go ahead and buy that because we are coming up to the end of the season. So, I mean, if I were to happen to go over it, it kind of sucked not to be able to sell the crab afterwards. So let's go ahead and get that. Ability to check the crab properties without lifting them. Does that, does that help our sorter? Wow, that's a hundred thousand. Okay, so I guess I'm not getting that. Ability to check crab properties without lifting them. I don't know if that, if that, is that, is that just for me or is that for our worker? I think that would be in the crew deckhands know-how. I don't know, but that'd be something that's kind of interesting. Uh, lower fuel usage as when sailing at faster speeds. Um, that I guess I guess I could get that to save on fuel. So when I sail in and out of Dutch Harbor and back out, I mean I would assume that we're in high gear. So let's go ahead and we'll get that. All right. So yeah, I'm down to I will say I'm down to nineteen thousand. Um, I think that's where we'll keep it. I think that's where we'll keep it. So now we can hold 24,000 pounds of crab, which is good. Because like I said, we're pretty much catching about 6,000 pounds per 12 pots. So now that we got 24 pot strings, we should catch about 12,000 pounds per string of 24 pots. So if you double that, that puts us right out of the limit now if we do two strings. Which is what I would like to do. Uh, we don't have to pay fines. Workers, I don't... I mean, yeah, they're getting kind of cheap, but I don't know what I would really need them for. I mean, let's just say this episode, the workers didn't fit fantastic. Uh, one time, um, Kurt froze, but that was only because he froze because the sorting table was full of crap and he couldn't dump the pot in. And he was kind of stuck there until we went to the next stream because I think he did get kind of confused. But in a way, that's my fault for not maintaining the working speed that we should for filling up the pot. Or sorry, the sorting table. So our pots are out there soaking. Uh, I do have twenty thousand dollars. We're full of fuel. We have a lot of the good upgrades. The only one I'm questioning is this one right here. Ability to check crab properties without lifting them. Is that for me and my workers, or what? Well, I don't know. Uh, this is here. Fifty percent increase in range of the vessel's mini map. You always had the bait in hand. Thanks for the repairs made with the BL are, are more effective, and hydraulics wear down thirty percent slower. Okay, we don't, we'll get that. It's 5,000. Uh, this is 7,500. 50% slower. All right, we'll get that. And you pull you pull grappling hook towards your vessel faster. I think this is just if we were to do it, honestly. And so if we got that, this is for tow price reduction. I am I can't see myself running out of fuel. But we are running out of what we can buy, really. But I'm, I'm almost, almost out of money, so it's... Yeah, I don't understand enlarging my buoy basket. What for? I got... Unless I happen to lose one, I'm not too sure. But uh, we got a little bit more room to spend more cash on things that... I think we got everything we need, honestly. But we'll just buy everything in the future. But hopefully next time we go out, we can fill up the boat even more. It's good coming in and not having any fines to do or pay off. But yeah, it's time to sail back out. But that'll be for next episode. We only got four days, 15 hours left in the season. So we probably got only got a couple more episodes and this season will be over. Um, but so far, so good. The game seems to be working well. Uh, we're not having an extreme amount of issues. So thumbs up for that. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you next time right here in Deadliest Catch. But until then, have a good one.